Hey everyone, in this quick video we're going to walk through how you can use AccuRig to rig any character model and then send it to Blender via the Reillusion Auto Setup workflow and generate Rigify controllers. To start off, you'll need AccuRig, which you can download for free from the ActorCore website. Once you load up AccuRig, go ahead and import your character's FBX. There's a quick check model step where you'll need to make sure that your model is centered and facing the camera. Then move on to body rig, where you'll need to mark the main joints on your model for accurate bone positioning. You can use symmetry in most cases, unless your model is disproportionate. To learn more about accurate joint placement, please refer to the dedicated AccuRig tutorial. You'll then want to move on to set up the markers for the hands. Again, the symmetry option is your friend here to save time. When you're done, go ahead and click on Finalize Character to generate your rig. There are various animations and poses you can use to test out the rigging result. Be sure to run through at least a few of them to ensure the rig is accurate for your character. You can always go back through the previous steps to refine the marker positioning if you encounter any issues. When you're ready, go ahead and hit Upload to ActorCore website. A link will pop up to take you directly to your character's preview page under your ActorCore account. On the ActorCore site, there are thousands of animations that you can test out, download for free, or purchase. You can download these animations together with your model as a single FBX file for easy import into other 3D software or game engines. You can also export to FBX directly from AccuRig. Be sure to choose the relevant target application, in this case Blender, from the dropdown, as this will set your model up for quick and easy import into that tool. Now in Blender, Let's use the Auto Setup add-on option Import Character and choose our FBX. After that, in the Auto Setup panel under Rigging and Animation, you'll find a big old Rigify button. Go ahead and press that to generate your Rigify controllers. That's really all there is to it. You can go into Pose Mode and use the controls to test everything out. It looks great, so let's go ahead and get our character into a cool looking pose using the Rigify controls. This pose looks a bit strange without a gun, so let's go ahead and grab one from the ActorCore website, where you can find tons of individual props in the prop section, including quite the armory of weapons, both modern and medieval. This time we'll import our gun FBX using the conventional import option in Blender. Then manually reposition it properly into our character's hand. You can see that he doesn't have the best trigger discipline here, but we'll give him a break as he's just a cartoon character. In some cases, depending on your pose or animation, you may encounter a scenario where clothing and body mesh are overlapping. In this case, just enter into Sculpt mode and use the various sculpting tools on the clothing mesh to extrude it a bit so that it isn't breaking through the body mesh. And there you have it. Your model is now set up with Rigify controls for easy posing, and you're ready for high quality rendering in Blender. That's it for this tutorial guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.